Hey you guys, welcome back to Is Your Six Covered? Appreciate you watching. This video is about concealed carrying. The reasons why we do it, but the part you probably don't have a clue on. Stay tuned. Alright, that caught your attention, didn't it? Alright, hopefully you know all about this. But a little background. We all went out, we all purchased a gun, whatever the case is. And we learned to hopefully be pr pretty proficient at it, right? And then we decided, let's go get a concealed weapons permit. That way we can protect ourselves and our family. Because that's important to us. Some of the things that we uh, don't think about is we may have to use that gun. We may have to use that gun to protect our family or ourselves. And a lot of times... We go and we go all the way to third base, but we never get to the home plate and score, right? And what I mean by that is, is we, first base, we went out and got a gun. We did some training. Second base, we went through the background check, filled out the paperwork, and then we got our permit. We got our permit, and now we're carrying, and we're at third base. We're at third base. We're thinking we're great. We're thinking we're going to be able to protect ourselves. But at the end of the day, we never scored. We never got to the home plate. What home plate is, is having some type of insurance. Okay, and I'm not going to sit here and promote an insurance company because there's a lot out there and they, they all have um, pluses and minuses. So it would be your job to go and do a little research and figure out what is most important for you. Now myself, when I started carrying, I purchased an insurance and I still have that insurance today. And the reason why I have the insurance is because not only do I want to protect my family and myself from a bad person that wants to basically hurt us or kill us, right, with a great bodily injury, but what about financially? Financially is very key. If for some reason I end up and I have to pull my weapon and I shoot someone that's trying to murder us, I'm going to still spend tons and tons of money going through some legal system trying to stay out of jail. Attorney fees, bail bond stuff, so on and so forth. There's a ton of stuff that happens involved when we, we pull the trigger. Now, a lot of us are going to say, well, I hope that never happens. Well, yeah, we hope that never happens, but we have a car insurance because we hope that never happens. We have house insurance, flood insurance hurricane insurance and all that other stuff because we hope it never happens well what's almost more important than your house falling down right is you being able to stay out of jail in order to keep working to feed and house your family think about it for a second we spend all this time on practicing shooting trying to get proficient at it, and we need to do all that stuff. But for a very cheap price per month, you can actually be financially um, insured so that you're not losing your house while you're in, say you're in jail, while, you know, or, or while the investigation's going on. When your, your attorney says, uh, that's gonna be $300,000, and you're like, I don't have $300,000. Now, if you have, $300,000 sitting around the house. Maybe you got it in an old shoe box or whatever the case is. Maybe this video isn't for you. This video is for the people that don't have $300,000 sitting in their box, in a shoe box, in a closet or whatever the case is. This is for us that are going, okay, you know what? I'd rather spend the money up front each month or do it by the year and feel very comfortable that I'm protecting my family because that's why we bought these, right? And myself... For the burden of going to jail. Now some of you say, well, I live in a very free state. Well, that's fine. But the problem is, is civilly, and you say you have a good shoot. You say the guy was coming at you, it's all on video, he had a big knife, got a big gun. Whatever the case is, you shoot him to protect yourself or your family. At the end of the day, that family is still going to civilly sue you for a certain amount of money. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of zeros at the end. So 
With that said, you're going to want to what? You're going to want the best attorney you can get. Well, the best attorney you can get isn't a dollar an hour. Isn't $50 an hour. It's going to be way up there. And they're going to charge you a lot. So unless you have that $300,000 sitting in that old uh, shoebox, this may be something that will wake you up. You guys stay safe. See you on the next video. And for those of you playing, the code word is WD40. See you guys.